it's Shriya here and welcome back to my channel Beauty and the Coat. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification next to it so that you'll be notified of all my future uploads. Having said that, let's get started with today's video. So today's video is going to be about a mini Nykaa haul. Now, I've not got many things. I've got just the limited kind of things that I needed. And also this is a mini haul because uh, you guys gave me a feedback to make uh, smaller videos and shorter videos so I thought of trying a mini haul now because if I include too many products then obviously the video will go long so yeah without any further ado let's get started so this time I thought of trying a new brand now it's not a new brand I guess but it was new for me so I got uh, two of the things uh, from uh, this brand known as Blossom Kocha and Blossom Kocha, Co Blossom Kocha Aroma Magic so I got two products from this brand the first product is a nourishing hand cream and this is how it looks like so overall I love the packaging a lot and I think this was cost effective this one costed me for 175 rupees and I've already tried and tested this cream and I really liked it I'm not a huge fan of the fragrance of this cream because it smells citrusy and I do not really like the smell of it but uh, it's very nourishing and it's really nice and I love the packaging and it's quite travel friendly so all in all I felt that it was a good purchase so coming to the next product I've got one eucalyptus oil which is essential oil and this one was in discount I got this got this for 145 I guess which was so less for an essential oil and I specifically got the eucalyptus one because um, these days due to summers most of the time I'm either in front of cooler or AC and uh, I'm kind of developing cold because of that so I just wanted to ensure that I keep sniffing eucalyptus oil uh, the intention is to put a few drops of eucalyptus oil on my uh, kerchief and then probably sniff it every now and then so that I don't really fall sick because of AC and cooler so anyways this is how the eucalyptus oil looks like now you can see that for an essential oil ka bottle the size of this is quite good uh, because most of the other essential oils from other brands like Soul Tree and Nykaa itself uh, these they cost around 350 or so uh, but this one was quite affordable I'll tell you the exact price it is priced for 185 rupees uh, but after discount I got it for 145 and I felt that uh, the essential oil quality is really really good so uh, like till now I was like uh, using only Nykaa's essential oils most of the time because I love the quality but they are really costly so I think I found a good alternative and I'll definitely recommend you guys also to try this brand uh, Blossom Kocher Aroma Magic and you can definitely get your hands on the essential oils because you get quite a good quantity for less price so the next two products are from Citra. One is a face wash and one is a face cream. Uh, now the face wash is the green tea variant, Japanese green tea variant. And this one is for pimple reduction and prevention. Now uh, when I first used this, um, it felt like a very creamy kind of a face wash. It was not gel based. I was expecting it to be gel based, my bad. But anyways, uh, it was a creamy based uh, formula. And it rinses off uh, the dirt and it cleans the face really well like basically it cleanses really well um uh, like I'm still trying and testing this product so I don't have much to say about it uh, but I like overall I like the fragrance and all those good things <laughs> So the next product like I mentioned uh, from Citra is a face cream and this one is Pearl Fair Face Cream. This one is Korean Pink Pearl Glow Enhancing and Brightening. I basically got this uh, to use it in the morning time uh, before I put my makeup uh, just as a moisturizer. So um, I felt that the consistency was more like fair and lovely so I do not really like, like, like this cream. It's like creamy plus fair and lovely wala textures like powdery kind of a texture so it's somewhere in between so as soon as I apply this uh, my skin becomes completely matte and uh, it feels like there's an instant brightness on my face I'm not a huge fan of this cream if you guys want I can separately review it for you to show how it looks but basically it makes my face completely matte uh, however it's a good cream uh, to act as a base for the makeup 
um, but once if you put uh, a layer of this cream and if you want to go again with the second layer uh, it becomes patchy uh, so I don't have a very good review about this one it's just average kind of a cream for me let me know if you guys have already tried this one uh, I may be wrong uh, for me it's giving too much of matte effect uh, but let me know it depends on skin type also uh, so let me know if you guys have used this one and uh, we'll share our views and feedback about this one in the comment section below so the next product is from Lakme and it's a compact powder now the one that I was uh, carrying in my bag uh, is almost done with and if I show you the condition of it you will request me to buy a new compact so anyways I got a new one this one is from Lakme and it's Lakme Absolute Perfect Radiance and this is Skin Lightening Compact it has SPF of 23 and it has UVA and UVA VB protection and this is how the compact looks like it's for 180 rupees the packaging is very sober and simple with product details written over here and on opening this uh, you get a very nice mirror a huge size mirror and an applicator and here's the product like all in all I absolutely loved this one I've already used it once or twice and but I don't use the applicator that comes with it I just find that it is really waste uh, but anyways I use it with a brush and I have been liking it a lot like it's a very comfortable compact to wear there's nothing much to say about it so that's the next buy so the next product is a sunscreen obviously because uh, I was almost getting over with the one that I have and I'm using the one with um, uh, I'm using the one from Biotique uh, that's the carrot carrot oil something related I don't remember the name uh, but that's the one that I'm using and uh, this is the one that I keep switching it with so sometimes on I'm on Lakme sunscreen then I come to Neutrogena then I go back to Biotech so I keep toggling it's not fixed and uh, recently I got Blossom Coachers uh, sunscreen uh, in my um, I think fab bag so I have that also to try but I got a smaller one from Neutrogena and this one is ultra sheer dry touch sunblock and this one is a uh, SPF 50 plus uh, so I really needed something which is very light on my face and it is effective and uh, this has all the things that I need in a sunscreen so that's the next purchase so the last product and the one product that I'm most excited about in this haul is this eyeshadow palette. Now this one is by Wet n Wild and this one is Rose in the Air palette. Everyone has been going so crazy about this palette because this one is a cheaper alternative or an inexpensive alternative to uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance palette. And I've heard so many good things about this palette that I really really wanted to get my hands on it. And let me know if you guys need a separate review on this let me know in the comment section below so I'll try to incorporate that but this is how the palette looks like it has beautiful brown uh, toned uh, shades in it this pink shade is so cool let me open and show it to you guys okay so this way you can have a better look so you have transition shades here two transition shades and you have these brown shades to be used in your crease then this pink is the showstopper of this palette and you have some light uh, shades for highlighting your uh, inner corners so um, that's the overall palette it's very inexpensive it's like 499 rupees and it's always out of stock so uh, I had kept a notification on it and the moment it came uh, like in stock I quickly placed an order so keep a watch out for this and let me know if you guys need a review in the comment section below so that's it guys that was everything about Nika haul I tried my best to keep this video short I hope that you guys like it and let me know in the feedback whether you like longer hauls or shorter hauls are just fine so yeah I'll work uh, on whatever uh, like feedback you guys give positive negative it's all okay uh, we are here to improve the channel so definitely give your feedback in the comment section below if you guys need review of any of the products that I have bought then also do let me know in the comment section below let's make that area chatty and thank you so much for stopping by and like I always say like share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye